if you are using macOS 12 also known as macOS Monterey and you wanna install MySQL 8 database server then this tutorial is for you. Hi, my name is Pradhyan Kurnikam. I am a freelance web developer and Udemy instructor. In this video tutorial we will learn how to download and install MySQL 8 database server on a computer running Mac OS 12 Monterey operating system. We will learn MySQL 8 database server installation step by step. In my case I am using Mac OS 12 or Mac OS Monterey. You may be using a different version of Mac OS but the installation steps given in this video tutorial will be similar on other Mac OS versions. Let's get started. On your Mac operating system open a web browser and enter mysql.com. This is the official website of MySQL database server. Click downloads menu to open downloads page. On downloads page you will find MySQL community GPL downloads link. Click to open the link. Here on MySQL community downloads page there are several products by MySQL but for this installation we need MySQL community server. Go ahead and click the link. On MySQL community server downloads page at the time of recording of this video the latest MySQL version is MySQL 8.0.32. If you find a new version you can either download the latest available version or you can click this archives link to get previous release. On select archives page select the MySQL version you want, your operating system, operating system version and you get the download links for the installer. In my case I am going to download the latest release. So I will go back to the latest release page. Pay your attention to this note. Installation packages for macOS 13 or Ventura are compatible with macOS 12 Monterey. So we can download macOS 13 installer from following list. You can see there are different installation packages and we must select a proper package for error free installation. The DMG files are disk image files which normally contains program installation files for Apple applications and we gonna go with DMG file but still there are two DMG files so which one to choose. If you observe carefully one package is for ARM while another is for x86 processors. If you are using any latest Intel processor then download x86 package and if you are using Apple M1 or M2 processor then go with ARM package. Let me quickly show you how you can check the processor type. Resize the web browser. Click the Apple icon and select about this Mac. On the pop-up window click system report and on this hardware overview page you can see Intel or unknown. Then go with the 64 bit package and if you see M1 or M2 then go with ARM package. I will close these windows. And as I am using Intel processor, I will click to download x86 DMG archive package. If you want, you can sign up for an Oracle web account. This is an optional step. So I will skip the sign up window by clicking this no thanks just start my window link. And save the file to my computer. To save some time, I already have downloaded the file in my downloads folder. So I will cancel this download. and go to my downloads folder. Now let's start with MySQL 8 installation. Double click the downloaded .dmg file. It will extract and open a .pkg file which is a Mac OS installer file. Double click the .pkg file to start the installation. If you see this undefined developer error message click OK and this time select the package file right click and click open. This time you will see a security warning message click open button and on this security warning message click allow button. 
Now the installer is running. Click continue. If you want, you can read this software license agreement. We must agree the software license agreement to continue with the installation. So click continue and agree button. The installation files will utilize around 800 MB hard disk space. So make sure you have sufficient disk space available on your computer. If you click this customize button, you will get a window from where you can select or unselect packages to install. Here MySQL server is the main database software. The MySQL test installs some test library files. Preference pane is useful to start and stop MySQL server instance. While launch D support automatically start MySQL instance when you start your computer. If you have no reason to skip a particular package, I will suggest you to use the default options. I'll go back to the standard installation option. You can change the install location and restrict access of the application for other users from this change install location option. In my case, there is single user and single partition on my hard disk. So these options are not available. So I will go ahead with the defaults and click the install button. Enter your Mac user password and click install software button. It may take a couple of minutes or less to copy the installation files on your computer. The MySQL server installation is complete, but we are not done yet. There are additional configurations which are required to use MySQL server. Here on configuration window, we need to select a password encryption method. The default option is a new and strong authentication method which uses SHA-256 encryption. The use of legacy password is suggested only if you want to make this installation compatible with MySQL 5 version. In our case, we will go with the latest password encryption method and click next. Please note this is very important step, so pay all your attention. Just like operating system installation, we create a new user or administrator who will be using that operating system. In case of MySQL, by default it creates a username root user. The root user is an administrator and has all the privileges of MySQL database. We can later add additional users with full or limited access. But since the root user is the main user, we must use a very strong password and most importantly remember the password or note it down somewhere. In my case, I'll use a simple password like pass1234. But in your case, make sure to use a combination of letters, numbers and special characters. Also, if not selected, make sure to check this box to start MySQL server once the installation is complete. Click the finish button and once again enter operating system user password. Click OK. It will take a couple of minutes or less to complete the configuration. And if you see this, thank you for installing MySQL server message, then congratulations, you have successfully installed MySQL database server on your computer. Click the close button and delete the installation files. Now let's open MySQL server to confirm if it works. From desktop, go to system preferences. Here you will find a MySQL icon, double click to open the window. Under Instances tab, you will find the Install MySQL Server version and the status of MySQL Server. Currently MySQL Server instance is running. We can click this Stop MySQL Server button to stop the instance. You need to enter Operating System User Password. And now MySQL Server instance is in stopped state. Please note in order to use MySQL database server, your MySQL instance must be in running state. So before logging into your MySQL database, if you find your MySQL instance isn't running, click this Start MySQL Server button to start instance. Click the Start MySQL Server button to start the instance. 
Also, make sure to check this checkbox saying Start MySQL when your computer starts up. If you check this box, you don't need to manually start MySQL Server instance every time. It would automatically start when you boot your computer. I will start my MySQL Server instance. Now under Configuration tab, you will find the location where MySQL has been installed and other important directories. Copy this base directory path and close the window. Open Launchpad and search for Terminal and open the Terminal program. Paste the MySQL base directory path we just copied and type slash bin slash mysql space dash u root space dash p press enter please note here you need to enter the mysql database password you set up during installation enter the password and press enter if you see this mysql prompt then congratulations you are successfully logged into your mysql database server here we can execute mysql statements before we execute a couple of test SQL statements, let me show you one important step. I will log out of MySQL server using exit command and clear the screen. Now if I have to log in again to MySQL server, I will have to use the same full path again. And it's little irritating to remember and enter the whole path again and again. If I try to directly enter the login command like mysql space dash u root page dash p enter and it won't work. The solution is we can add mysql bin folder path in macOS paths file. I will clear the screen and in terminal window enter sudo nano slash etc slash paths press enter. Enter operating system user password press enter and in this file on the last line Enter the MySQL bin folder path like slash usr slash local slash mysql slash bin. Save the file using control O, press enter and close the window using control X, type exit and close the terminal window. Relaunch the terminal window and type mysql space dash u root dash p press enter enter mysql root user password and this time it worked as expected in mysql database we can execute sql statement to display all databases show semicolon press enter and mysql server will list all the databases stored in mysql database server type exit to exit out of mysql server and close the terminal window. If you are interested in learning SQL using MySQL database, check out my SQL course on Udemy. You will find the link in description of this video. Here in this video tutorial, we learn how to download and install MySQL 8 database server on macOS 12 or macOS Monterey. I hope the installation steps were easy to understand and follow. Now it's your time. Try the installation steps on your macOS computer. If you encounter installation errors or didn't understand something, feel free to ask me questions in the comment section of this video. If you like this MySQL 8 installation tutorial, hit the like button. Also do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.